about surgical scalpels? Well, I'm Dr. Barrett. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon here in Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna go over the three main types of scalpel blades that we use, what we use them for, and how to load them on a scalpel. So let's talk about the blades first. First is a number 10. And the way I like to remember a 10 blade is this is a big fat blade. It's used for making large incisions, oftentimes for general surgery applications or making big tummy tuck incisions. The way to remember a 10 is the zero kind of looks big, fat, and round. That's a 10 blade. Next one up is an 11 blade. Okay, this one's very pointy. We use this one to make stabbing incisions primarily. I'll occasionally use it to bring out a belly button in a little seesaw fashion, but it's very pointy. It is mainly meant for making holes for things like drains and so on and so forth. The way to remember 11 blade is for 11 like this, it's very pointy. Okay, the last one is a 15 blade. And this is a smaller, more refined scalpel blade that we use a lot of times in plastic surgery for very refined cuts. Okay, so making facelift incisions, small incisions around the breast and the areola. And I don't really have a great way to remember this, but if you do, let me know. First thing you wanna do is get familiar with your scalpel handle. There is a certain notch at a certain angle here. Okay, this is a basic, very refined kind of scalpel that we use sometimes. And you wanna make sure that that little notch lines up with your scalpel blade. Now you can do it with your fingers, okay, but I don't really recommend doing that. And you slide it onto this groove right here. And so it slides on like that. Now if it gets stuck like it does here, or if you wanna do this right the first way for all you scrub techs out there, you're gonna scream at me, you take this, and you kind of push this on so that it goes. So now you can see that it is clicked into place and it is ready for you to use. These are very sharp, they don't last very long because they are so sharp. And the way you wanna use these is to utilize the blade belly. So it's not meant to be going straight down, you wanna use the curvature of the blade to make your incision. Now this, it's a 10 blades, can be used like this for general surgery or it can also be used like this uh, for plastic surgery. Same is true for the 15 blade. You wanna use the belly of the blade. Now the 11 blade is the only exception. It is mainly meant for stabbing or sawing. Okay, a safe way to remove the blade once you have it on there is to just take the needle driver or a snap and you basically lift up this back portion, slide it off like that. There you go, 